Hi right, guys, uh, welcome back to our fourth installment of this tunnel portal design and build. Uh, you know, the last several videos I've been so excited to show you guys all this. I keep forgetting to ask you guys to subscribe and give me a thumbs up. You know, if you're new to the channel, you know, think about subscribing. If you don't want to subscribe, at least give me a thumbs up. It only takes a minute, a minute, a minute. I need to learn the English language. Someday I will, I promise. It only takes a, a moment to click on that thumbs up icon and that surely does help uh, with getting my videos seen. Okay, in this second to last video I'm going to create some side supports, some fancy side supports to give this uh, pretty much flat tunnel portal a little bit of depth and interest. So we're going to go to the left here and you know as a matter of fact we can turn pretty much all of this off. We really don't need to see any of it. Well, I'll leave that on just for reference. And we are going to start with a sketch and we are going to sketch on this plane. And I want to turn it back upwards so I can see it. Now if you remember seeing uh, the little um, intro video to the beginning of this, I have a lot of different numbers written down. I don't remember if this was part of that or not. But just follow along with me if you even want to create these side supports. Uh, we are going to start with just um, some lines here. Again, you can click on the line icon up here, or you could just uh, select or click on L on your keyboard. It's the shortcut for line. I'm going to kind of start off here at the base, so I'm kind of in line, so I can keep an idea of where I'm going at. Our first line is going to be a vertical line, and it is going to be five centimeters tall. Hit enter because I want that finished. Our next line is going to be a horizontal line, and uh, this one is going to be 1.567 centimeters wide. Now, our next line is going to be at an angle, and it is going to be 3.975 centimeters, but we want to put a little bit of an angle here. And uh, now let's go for, let's see here, 9.5 degrees. That looks pretty good. And from there we're going to have one line straight up that is 5 millimeters, 0.5. Then we are going to have one last line here connecting all these points together. Okay. Next thing we need to do, of course, is extrude this. And I want to extrude, let's make this um, well, some millimeters wide to start. Alright, now I'm going to turn off the tunnel portal. You no longer need to be seeing that. First thing we are going to do is we are going to create our brick texture on this side. So again, we go with create a sketch. We're going to sketch on the side of this support. And this time I want to start on the back corner and work my way to the left because this is a 90 degree square corner. So we will start with our two point rectangle, start up here, and of course our height of our bricks are 0.09 and our width excuse me for one minute. I wrote it down and I turned my page and I can't remember anything. Lots of sketches, guys. Point one nine. I should remember that, huh? Okay. 
or hit enter. We want to extrude that, so E for extrude. Again, I'm going to make this 0 0.06 and a new component, or I'm sorry, a new body. And that is correct. We are going to do a pattern on a path again. So pattern on path, select the object, select the path. And this one here, we want to get to the bottom corner lined up with a corner of this. And we'll fix all the rest of the brick later. And as usual, I think 8 will do okay. Let's see what that looks like. That should be fine. Alright. We'll name this side support. We will hide this for a moment so we can copy our bricks. So click on the move copy. Highlight all the bricks. Select create a copy. And we are going to drag it up. And this time we need to drag it to the left. That's where our 90 degree wall is. Click OK. OK, extrude. Click on the back of that brick. Move it just a little bit. Click on this brick. And we are going to cut. Now I will show you how to make a new mid plane when we get to a certain point in designing the sidewall. But for doing this little bit of work here, we're not going to do that. We are simply going to copy this over to the other side. So move copy, click on it, click on copy. And we're just going to drag her over here. And just eyeball it. And you know, even bricklayers don't have perfect, perfect seams or perfect mortar joints. They're pretty good, but not always perfect. We've got an E for extrude. Need to cut this one down a little bit on this side too. Okay. And again, we are going to create our back wall for the bricks to attach to. So we select that brick. Extrude. Select, don't forget to select that one brick and as we did on the other ones, 0 0.01 new body and we will align the back of that noose part to the back of the brick click OK same as before we're going to press pull. We're going to bring this up even with the brick first. Now we're going to use our little inspect tool, our little tape measure here. We're going to measure this mortar joint gap. It is 0 0.008 of a centimeter. Click on close. Come back over here, press pull. Select that back wall. 0 0.008 a centimeter and there is our new grout line for our next row of bricks. Now what I didn't do before though I want to make sure that all these ends are perfectly aligned. Now why are you giving me a hard time? Let's cancel that. Let's just use our 
extrude tool. Apparently those are aligned. The other side looks like it is too. Alright. Now of course we need to combine the backer wall with all these bricks. So we will select combine. Select our backer wall first and come over here. Left click, hold down, drag to the left. Now we don't want to cut, we want to join. And I made a mistake there. Let's go back. Okay. Let us combine. Click on that body. We do not want to keep the tools. See, I had it selected from the last time we used it. And that kept all those brick textures, so we don't want that. Again, left click, hold, drag to the left, join. There we go. And again, we'll just call this brick texture. Let's turn our side support back on. And yes, we are going to create a pattern on path. And select our object, select our path. It's pretty close. And let's start building these up. I am going to guess 15 at first. That was pretty close. Let's try 20. Let's see what 30 does. It's going to be too many, I believe. Oh, yes. So let's try 25. And it's pretty big on close to 26. 26 looks to be about perfect. Click OK. And there is our one side of our brick texture. Now, the best way to do this, of course, is to mirror this to the other side. However, if we turn on our tunnel portal, portal, we are not designing exactly in the center. The center, when I move us around to the little green dot, is actually on this side. So if I were to mirror these, it would put all, all of them way over here. We don't want to do that. We want them exactly on the other side. So what we can do here is we can create a new mirror plane. So when we come up here to construct, and we have a mid plane here. So we're going to click on mid plane. We are actually going to go and hide one of the first brick texture here. Doesn't well to hide this brick texture here. We're going to select this plane and this plane. And now you can see we have a mid plane through both of these. Oh, I'm sorry. We have mid plane through this item here, as you can see. Let's turn that brick texture back on. Now we can mirror off of this midplane of this uh, um, object. So again, we go over to create. We go over here to mirror, and we select our objects that we want to mirror. And technically, I just go down here, 
select them all like that. All you do is hold on your shift key, just like when you're using a word and trying to copy and paste. Select the first one, I'll start over again. Maybe I won't start over again. Yep, see, so you select the first one, come down to the last one, hold down shift, click it, and you select all of them. Now we want to collect, select uh, Mirror Plane, which is this new plane we created. There they are. New bodies, click OK. It's going to take a moment. Shouldn't take this long. Okay, and we have our brick texture on both sides. Now we still have this new construction plane here. As you see, we got it from the construct. So to turn it off, scroll down here to uh, construction and just click on the eye. It turns that off. Now we are going to combine all this brick texture to our side support here. So, of course, again, best way to do that, let's just get it nice and squared on the screen, click on combine, our target body is our side support, a left click, a left drag, highlight everything else, or of course you could have done it by clicking and shift clicking, but this was much easier, join, and wait a few moments while it thinks. And there we have it as a one unit now. Now what we need to do is extrude. And I just believe I just messed up. Let us back up for a minute and it's control Z. Make these all individuals again. Thank you very much. I actually need to cut them all out first. I don't know what I was thinking. Okay, what we're going to do, I mean, I guess I could have combined them and then cut them as one unit, but uh, we're back to this. So let's start a sketch, create a sketch on this plane here. Do a rectangle, start out here somewhere. Make sure we got it. So it's not all the way through yet, so I need to go. Drag this out, let us extrude up, and it is automatically turned to cut, which is exactly what we want it to do. So we'll click cut. And we will wait again for a long, long time. That's not too bad. And of course we are going to do that for these other angles as well. So we will start with this plane here. Get our two point rectangle. This time I want to make sure I'm on this line. You do not want to extrude up this way with it because you will mess up that piece. So extrude. Make sure you select all of it. Again, we'll pull it all out. We're cutting it. OK. 
cut. Once more, create a sketch. We're going to do it on that line there. Two point rectangle. Again, I want to make sure I am starting on that edge. Make sure I'm going to get everything. It looks like it. Extrude. Select everything. Make sure we get everything included there. Cut. And there is the outline of our site support. Now I will go and select it all and combine it all. Combine, select the site support first, left click, left drag, support all the brick textures, join. Okay. Now we need to create the brick textures before the front. So again, back to a sketch, select the front. This thing I think flipped over on me again, it surely did. Our two point rectangle, start in that corner. And we know we are 0.19 length, 0 0.09 in height, extrude, back to 0 0.06, new body, now doing this there is going to be some alignment we're going to do individually we are going to now, of course, create our pattern on path. Select that object. Come over here and select path. Select this with the path. Let's drag her over here. Let's see here. I like five. So let's open this up a little bit. Well, no, I don't like five that much. Let's go back down to four. Well, I tell you, that's too much of a gap, so we're going to fix this. Let me show you how I'm going to fix this here. First thing we're going to do is we're going to close this gap up to what we like here. That looks like a much better mortar joint to me. So click OK. There's our first set of bricks. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take a measurement. I'm going to measure from this brick stop in this corner to this corner. I'll write that down. It is 0 0.0330 centimeter. Okay. Now we are going to hide these last four bricks that we made. We are going to turn our construction plane back on. Because here's what I'm going to do. We are going to create a sketch on this construction plane. We are going to create a two point rectangle and encompass the entire site support here and then it's on the construction plane we're going to extrude this triangle and we're going to extrude it to 0.033 and that is cutting this in half so we're going to click on OK now what I'm going to do so I can line it up properly, I'm going to grab my move tool. I'm going to grab this side. I'm just going to move it over here. Any distance doesn't matter, just so we can see the insides of these. Now we are going to align 
So since I moved this one away, I want to line it back to this one. So this is our from, and this is our to. They are aligned together. Again, we will combine these side support. Actually, let it select the actual site support, not site support one. So site support one. Okay. Bring it back together. Let's move this up. And let's turn our bricks back on. And there you go. Now your bricks are aligned. Turn the construction plane back off. <coughs> Excuse me. Now again, we are going to do the same thing we have done before. We're going to turn the site support off. And we are going to create our copies of our bricks. So create a copy. I'm going to drag it up. These are at the angle because that wall is at an angle. Let's make it like that. Okay. We will extrude these down. Now you have to extrude when you make copies like this because let me show you something here. It's probably going to make a liar on me again. If you do the press pull and you grab this side to press it, Yep, see it moves all of them. You can't, you can't do that. So we actually do have to extrude. So again, we'll extrude this side, make it even. So why did you do that for? Now I'll start it all again here. Okay, E for extrude. We'll extrude this side. Come in. There we go. We can actually turn our construction plane back on. And we can mirror this to that side. Well, you know what? We can't. I forgot that construction plane was on that original size. But we shrank it, so that's not going to work. That is my bad. See how you forget things sometimes? We're going to have to do it the old fashioned way. We're just going to have to copy it. So move copy, copy, slider over here. Okay. I mean, this is really just as easy. It's actually probably even easier for something as small as this. Do the align tool. Select that. Don't want to select the center, just align it. There we go. And as we did before, we're going to create a new sketch. Click on this brick. And it flipped over on me yet again, and I hate it when it does that. There we go. Our two point rectangle start on this corner. E for extrude, 0 0.01, and a new body. And again, we are going to align that new body with the packs of these here bricks. That works. We are going to Press pull, make this even with the top. Okay. Take our measurement of our mortar gap. 0 0.014. Press pull again. 0 0.014. There is our new mortar gap for our next row. And we are now going to combine these.
quick texture again. Let's turn our side support back on. Now we will do a path. We're going to try to do the path. I might not be able to do a path with these individual bricks here like this. Actually, you know what? I want to let me uh, let's create a sketch on this here. And again, it rolled over on me, which I cannot stand at doing that. Let's just do a line here from that corner all the way down to that corner. Okay, that should work. Again, we want to do pattern, pattern on path. We're going to select this as our object. Our path is this line. Let's drag these up. And this time we're going to leave this top of the mortar joint right even with where it turns to go up. Now let's make these 20 to start with. That's pretty close. Let's make it try 19. What does 18 look like? 18 is too much. 19 is our number. Click OK. Now I'll highlight that line. And we're just going to delete it. Now, as you can see, doing it this way, this you kind of lose alignment with the side. And that is simply because we are going at an angle. And if this was completely vertical, it would line up perfectly with the bricks below. So, what are we going to do? Well, you know, this kind of sucks. Because since I added in that mortar joint there, if I try to draw these down to line it up with this mortar joint and the fact that the mortar joints are different widths, it's never going to line up perfectly. Uh, theoretically, what I really should have done is I should have taken a set of these bricks and made a copy and set them aside to put on the front. I did not do that. We'll learn from my mistake. Uh, we're just going to go on. I'm going to leave these as they are. I don't think, in N-scale, I don't think that that misalignment issue is going to be that noticeable. If it is, eh, so be it. We're learning, right? Again, like I said, what I would have done differently is I would have the very first set of brick that I made for the side, for this side over here, actually. I would have made a copy. I would have set it aside, turned it off, and saved it to make the brick for the front. And that would have been the smart thing to do. Sometimes I'm not that smart. Well, what we're going to do now is we're going to finish this little section up here, and I'm just going to copy and paste these. It would be a lot quicker to do it this way. So I'm actually going to grab it from the side here. Okay, copy. We're going to drag it out. Going to kind of line it up a little bit here. Hold away for a minute, click OK, use our align tool, align the back of this to the front of that. Come in to take a closer look and see where we're at there. That's not too too bad. Move it up just a little bit here. Okay. Again, we're just going to actually go and just make copies of this. It's going to be like maybe one more, two more copies. So, copy. 
Drag her straight up. Click OK one more time. Click OK. Now we're going to, have to go ahead and cut that off again like we did earlier. So create a sketch. Select that. Do our two point rectangle. Make sure we've got that included. We do. Extrude. It's a cut. Now let us join this new brickwork to our site support here. So we're going to combine, click on a site support, left click and drag to select the front. Click OK. Now one last thing we need to do, we need to create a capstone for the top of this. So again, we're going to create a sketch. Click on this one more time. We're going to do a two point rectangle again. Uh, this we are just going to get something started here. We're going to mess with this in just a minute to make it the way we want it. Let's extrude this. We select everything and let's make this point one yeah, let's make it one millimeter and as always a new body you know let's back that up let's show you an easy way to do this that way we can get accurate measurements. No, let's not do that because if I do that, I have to select all these. Never mind. We're going to do it the way I just did it again. Uh, I'm sorry for that. Two point rectangle. So we're just going to start out here, come out here again, extrude 0 0.1. new body. See by going, let me show you real quick why I did that for. By making it oversized we were able to extrude this all as one piece. Let me move this and show you what I mean. If I were to have only extruded or made it to fit exactly into here, when we went to extrude it we would have to have selected every one of these little cuts to extrude as well and that is just a pain in the butt. Now we wanted to make sure that the back side actually we want to actually bring this back side out a little bit so we're going to press pull this side out. I'll show you why here in a second. And for the sides, let's just take a measurement on one side here. What do we have here from this side to here? It is 0.011 centimeter. So let's make it 0.1. So we're going to press pull negative 0 0.01. That should be, let's measure it again to make sure. It should give us one millimeter. And we have one millimeter on that side. Let's go over here and measure this other side. Or the easiest thing to do is press pull, make it flush with the side here, click OK, press pull again, 0.1, we know we have one millimeter. The hang in the front is fine with me. Now this is going to be sitting in our, or against our tunnel portal, so we want this to be flush with this back. So create a sketch. We're going to sketch on the back of this. We do a two point rectangle. Again, just make it bigger than it has to be. Extrude. Mm -hmm. 
It's a cut. There, now that's nice and flat. One last thing we are going to do with this, and we will be done with it. I want to roll these edges a little bit. So we use our fillet. And like I said, you can do multiple edges. I do not want to do setback. Let's do a rolling ball here. I don't want quite that much. There we go, just a little bit. Let's make it 0 0.05, make it even. Click OK. Now we're going to combine this with this. Okay. Last thing we need to do is turn our tunnel portal back on. Turn everything on so we can see it. Let's move this. To where we want it. You know, actually the first thing I want to do is I want to set this thing in where it's flush. So we're just going to move it over here to the edge. We're going to do some serious zoom in here. So we're going to align the back of this with the interior. And I just lost it. There we go. Click OK. Okay, there we go. That's what I want to see. So I want to sit in the brick. Get a nice square top view here. Grab our move tool. Let's move this to where we want it. That's about center. That looks pretty good to me. Check it out from the side view here. That's nice and in the brick like I want it to be. Now we have to make one for the other side. And this is going to take forever. You guys don't want to do that again, do you? Yeah, me neither. Let's just mirror it. So we'll select this object. Select our mirror plane. Again, guys, this is why I always try to model with my origin at my center. All right, finally. That took quite a bit of time, actually. Well, there is our tunnel portal finish. Now, like I said, you do not have to combine all the rest of this to extrude it if you do not want to. That way, you can, you know, you can print out a tunnel portal with your side supports here if you like, or you can turn them off, take them off, and print them without side supports. Same with the keystone and uh, the frame here. You can take those off if you want to. So if you want to uh, export it as it is, of course you come up here to where the file is, click File, click on Export. I'm not going to go through all of it. Name it, uh, select your location where you want to export to, and make sure you select an STL file. That is the end of this video. Again, uh, subscribe if you have not. Give me a thumbs up, please. Appreciate it. Our next and final video I'm going to create a very uh, simple little tunnel liner for the Senscale uh, tunnel portal. So until then, uh, take care. See you next time.